Hi everyone, welcome to the second video of the Power Query Basic. In this video, we talk about the last step in Power Query, load. When we are done with our transformation, we have to load our queries to rush it as table or to connection. When we are done, if we simply click close and load by default, close and load, we will see that all the queries will be loaded to individual worksheets with the name of the query. Here is an example. HRL as HRL, finance as finance, sales and marketing, PR, and consolidate. In this example, I just want the result of consolidate table. I don't care individual table. So I want to change it back to connection only. How can we do that? We can under the queries and connection pins, right click on the query, load to, click only query connection. Done. We will have a warning that there will be potential data loss. Okay, indeed, once we click all the key, the table loader will be gone, and the query will be a connection only query. However, the spreadsheet is still here. Right? If we want to clear the rest of the three queries here, we may repeat the steps one by one, but there is a more efficient way. I will simply select all the rest sheets with the tables just being loaded, right click, delete, delete, boom. All the rest sheets are gone and all the related query will become connection only. And this is what is left my expected result. Easy, isn't it? Now, the question is, should I load it to table on worksheet or load it to connection only? Well, it depends. If the result from the query is already what you need in your report, that's fine to load it to table. However, if your goal is to have it as the data source for further analysis using pivot table, or even in data model, then connection would be a better choice. Why is it? Let me show you now. Now I have the result from Power Query here next to the original data so that we can see what is happening when we insert the pivot table and refresh all. So in order to analyze this output by using pivot table, I can select any cell of this table, go to insert pivot table. Excel is not enough to detect the range which is called consolidate, which is actually the name of the query. I want to insert this to existing worksheet right there. Okay. Well, we have a pivot table built based on this outcome. In this pivot table, I can create a summary table of salary by the department as simple as that. Now, this is the part to answer the questions. Say, for example, I realize that I make a mistake or I need to revise the data. This is not sales, this is PR, for example. Okay? I would expect when I click refresh all on the data tab here, both the outcome of the power query table here and the pivot table will be updated. Let's see if it is the case. Refresh all. However, it is not the case. Only the table coming out from the power query is updated. The pivot table that is relying on the outcome table here is not updated yet. We have to click the refresh all one more time. Now it is updated. This is absolutely not ideal. Why and who would expect we have to click refresh all twice in order to have everything updated? A better alternative is actually load this table to connection only. Right click here, load to, change it back to connection only. Okay, okay. At this point, if you try to refresh the pivot table, it cannot be done 
Why is that? Let me try to refresh. Reference is not valid because the reference is the table called consolidate, which is no longer available on the workbook. So this pivot table, indeed, it is not useful at all. I need to remove it. To insert the pivot table from the connection here, we click on any cell on the worksheet insert pivot table. Instead of selecting the table range, we don't have any table range. We should go back here to insert the pivot table from external data source. And then we can choose connection. Choose the connection of the query. Okay. Okay. Now we see the same pivot table, we can create exactly the same summary salary by department, say for example. Now when I make further changes, okay, well this is not PRO, this is HRL. At this point, because we do not have any intermediate table between the data source and this pivot table, when I click data, refresh all, it will be updated. See that? If your ultimate goal is using pivot table to analyze your key data, I would suggest always load it to connection only to save the troublesome. Who will expect you need to refresh or twice in order to have the pivot table updated? Right? I hope you find this video useful. See you next time.